Hey, hello everybody, what is up all you beautiful, beautiful people, my name is Alex, and today I am going to show you how to farm a specific, I mean a very specific, legendary, and by spe specific I mean uh, one that is the weapon type or the armor piece type that you desire, and um, the uh, the effect on it that you want. Uh, for instance, I farm myself a combat rifle with bleed effect, and uh, it only took me about, I don't know, 40 minutes uh, of trying and uh, yeah so let me just show you where to farm this this happens at the National Guard training yard which is over here there's the bunker hill and uh, yeah straight up there you have a quest to go there at some point but um, you will know that the place has been respawned if the turret is on the roof uh, we will show you that in a second here and uh, yeah. Um, so I, I I farmed this gun like uh, yesterday, and I don't know about half a day in game time uh, went while I run around testing it, and uh, today I just uh, logged on and decided to run up to my own bed and sleep in it for. Uh, I slept in it for forty-eight. No wait. 3 times 24 hours, and then I t checked if this place was respawned, it was not. And then I slept t for 3 times 48 hours again. So like I said, if that turret has respawned, the inside area has also respawned. Now what you want to do though, before you go inside, is to do a quick save. And there's a very big difference between a quick, quick save and a normal save in this game. Um, so it's very important that you do a quick save. So now it auto saved, but I want to do a quick save, right? So I do a quick save, which in my case is numpad plus button. There's there's a big difference between uh, normal save or auto save and quick save in this game. And I will show you guys in a second here. So now we get inside and uh, it automatically made a auto save when I entered the game. But I also have a different instance of the quick save. Now there's a big difference and very important difference that you have to notice here. So we kill this guy. There's one behind there, one inside there. Kill this guy. And there's the legendary. Now, National Guard, tra National Guard Training Yard always has one legendary. Well, almost always. So now it has a hunter's leather right leg. So basically, it will always spawn a right leg as long as I do this trick. So now, if I don't want hunters on my leather right leg, like so, I do load. And I don't do the quick save, I load the, uh, the inside area, like this one. So now it will still spawn the legendary in the same location and the hunt or the leather right leg, but it will not spawn uh, hunters. Right? So we kill this guy, and he will spawn a leather right leg. And this time it's sharp, right? But say I'm not satisfied with that yet again. I load the uh, the inside area once more, and we run up here, kill the guy again, which is always in the same place uh, when you do the uh, the inside location spawn. So, sprinters right leg, All right? Still not satisfied with that. Let's go and do a reload just to show you guys for four times in a row, quick and easy, how to get a specific item. So, for instance, I wanted a uh, specific different type of r uh, leather right leg. So now I've got sprinters again. And you just keep doing that over and over until you get the, uh, the legendary effect that you desire. Now, what do you do if you cannot or do not want a red leather right leg, right? I'll show you. You load the quick save. In my case, it's a numpad uh, minus. Uh, it's very important that you do this from you know the uh, the quick buttons, not in the menu, and this will bring you back outside, right? It'll take a little bit longer to load because it has to load the outside area again. But um, yeah, the difference between a quick save and a normal save is important in this case if you want to farm a specific legendary. So for me, it took. I don't know, 35 minutes or so of just loading the inside area 
uh, over and over again. So now I'm outside again, and the inside area has been uh, quote unquote uh, reshuffled. Now the uh, the uh, the legendary enemy will spawn in a different location, and the type of item he is going to drop is also going to be different. There is a very small chance that the legendary enemy does not spawn. Uh, just so you know, so as you see, no legendary there. Um, the, it, it's a very small chance it happens, and this time it didn't, or well, he did spawn. None of the enemies, and there's only like four or five, max five ghouls in here, so there's no point running around. Now, if that happens, you have to just, well, well not there, uh, reload the quick save, go outside again, and reload the interior. And this will shuffle the enemies and where they spawn yet again. Now we're back outside. Go inside. And he will pro most likely spawn. I, I found that it's like 1 in 10 chance that he does not spawn. Um, I play on hard difficulty, by the way. Or actually very, very hard. And I don't think... So now he spawned there, right? Only kill as many as you have to to look at his. So now he has a synth chess piece. Let's say we do want to synth chess piece this time. Um, we just don't want the uh, the uh, hunter's effect. So now we load the interior yet again. Of or, or, of course, you always load the uh, the most recent interior, and he will always spawn in the same location and have the same item. As you can see, there we go. Another hunter's synth chess piece. Just for, uh, you know, show and tell, I'm going to show you guys one more time. He will spawn a you know, synth chess piece, but the effect will be different. In this case, it just spawned hunters twice in a row. Out of pure randomness. Oh, damn, another hunter. Okay. <laughs> my, uh, my theory is falling to pieces here. Well, you saw it last time with the uh, the right leg. It should work, or it does work, exactly the same. Now, martyrs see the chess piece, right? So I got three hunters in a row, it's just random. Completely random. So uh, that is how you do it. If you want to find a different type of item, uh, like not a synth chess piece, you go back outside to the quick load, like I did, and uh, you reshuffle the interior. If you want that specific type of item, um, like a synth chess piece in this case, you have to reload the interior over and over again, not the... Uh, wait, well, yeah, you have to shuffle the inside, but keep the uh, the actors uh, the same, if you will. So I'm going to show you one more time that it will spawn a different item again. And I did this uh, for yeah, 35, 40 minutes yesterday, and I finally got the combat rifle to begin with, and then I reloaded the interior over and over again, so that I got the uh, the effect that I wanted, which in my case was the uh, the bleed effect on my gun here. So let's see where he spawns this time. Not there. There he is. So, there's a few locations uh, these enemies can spawn. There's one in this room. There's one behind here. One here. And then there's one at the stairs here. And then there's one over there in the room there. So, just check those four rooms and it should be fine. So now we've got Safe Crafter's Leather Arm. It does, of course, spawn weapons as well. Uh, it's just that you have to try and try again. And I finally got my item uh, yesterday. So, um, yeah, if you want to, uh, if you have just cleared this area out and you want to get another different type of uh, legendary item, you can just uh, sleep for, I sleep for 24 hours times six, and this area had to respawn. You can just quickly run here and check for that turret up there, and you will see that it has respawned. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I did. Spend a little bit of time figuring this, this out, or the difference between the two types of saves. And uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed. Please remember to rate, comment, like, and subscribe if you did. 
I will see you guys next time for the next little tip or trick or whatever. So yeah, bye bye!